we're going to show you now is how to put Clover Armour up using the, uh, the, uh, the rods that we've got here and the, uh, and the feet. So this is how you would uh, assemble the stand if you were going to use it freestanding without an exhibition shelf seat, which is something obviously people want to do if they're travelling and they have a stand only space. So once again this is an aero kit, we've got five uh, panels in total, three of these panels are curvable panels so they have a flexible rails fitted to them, two of the panels have straight rails, um, however if you've got an exhibition stand that's larger or smaller so you need uh, more or less panels, that's no problem, you can buy these panels uh, individually and you can buy as many sets of legs, feet or indeed uh, shell scheme clips uh, as you want to be able to fill the space that you have. So it's designed to be a flexible solution um, when you need it to be. So, these are the graphic panels that we have here and um, roll them out. To make life easier, these panels are all numbered. We label all of our panels with a panel number. So when you're at an exhibition or an event, you're not wasting uh, lots and lots of time <laughs> putting the panels together in various different permutations trying to get them to fit. And uh, the rails are actually keyed slightly, there's a little notch taken out of them. So these feet will actually only ever fit where they're supposed to go. We've got the feet on. We take two of the rods. You can see the claps down, they've got an elasticated cord running through the middle of them. Put them together, dead straight forward. Sections just literally pushed together like this. It's got the clip that attaches to the top rail, and the bottom is just the end of the pole designed to push into the socket on the foot. So just push that in. Bend the razor. You can see we have to give a little bit of compression on the pole there and then attach that to the top of the pole. Exactly the same with the other one. Right in the socket. That's our first section of, of stand there. And you can see these little cams in more detail there at the back. You see at the moment, they're up. We can move them around. And in doing so, what we can do is we can get the graphic. Not too far there. And get the graphic to tilt forward if we wanted to. What we want is a fairly neutral angle. Just put it around there. What I'll do for the moment is I'll just leave all these cams up and then we can adjust the angle later if we want to. Stand section four.
So now we've got our five sections assembled. What we can do is just, just bring them together to close these gaps. It's very straightforward. Now these panels are designed to uh, work with an overlap, so the panel on the left can overlap the panel on the right, or vice versa, the panel on the right can overlap the panel on the left. You may find that tweaking which panel overlaps which will give you a slightly better result. Uh, it's also best to leave the stones assembled for 30 minutes or so because the panels will naturally flatten out after they've been uh, left cooled up. So what we can do is we can change the angle of the stand. We're bending some of the panels if we want to. So by doing that we're creating a, a rounded curve on the ends, rather like a uh, traditional pop-up stand. For example, if we had an L-shaped exhibition stand, we wanted to go around the corner. Like so. So you can kind of see it's possible to create all sorts of shapes with this stand just by changing the angle of the curve on the sections that have those, uh, those bendable rails. 